What is up, cool kids? My name is Gavin. I'm that cool trainer back at you again. Uh, this time we're doing something a little different. Instead of battle spot Wi-Fi battles, we're doing six v six versus uh, some people I meet in a, the Pokemon Sun and Moon Amino app, uh, which is which is pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. Um, we're probably only only going to get one in this episode unless I either get blown back or I blow my opponent back. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I will run through the squad when we switch over to the other setup. I'm pre-recording this uh, before I even start the battle, like five times before I even start the battle. Um, we will go through team comp in just a minute. All right, so we are going up against Prime. I have never even talked to this person before. I have no idea who this person is, what their team is like, but um, we will see what's going on. He decided the battle rule. Apparently we're going to single battle, which is fine by me. Um, I hope he isn't just gonna throw a bunch of legends and stuff at me. Um, he says special Pokemon are permitted. So we're... Oh, I should've picked music. Oh, well. So, on my squad right now, I'm rocking Mimikyu, uh, holding... What is going on? Um, what is Mimikyu holding? I'll figure it out. Mimikyu... Uh, Araquanid holding Assault Vest, um, Minior with the, Minior with the Rocky MZ that is running Shell Smash, I'm hoping for some surprise value there, um, alright, we're gonna see what he is leading here, or what he's rocking, okay, so it's an Incineroar, I know it's, I'm gonna take the camera just a second to focus, if it focuses at all, Come on. All right, okay, there we go. Incineroar, Mimikyu. Okay, that's not a bad team. That's, that, team's, that team's definitely handleable. Um, that first impression really wrecks my... Really makes it so I don't have a fun time. But he has no spinner and no hazard setter, which is nice. So I'm going to lead with Skarmory. Get up those uh, get up spikes as early as possible. Okay, so I believe I just saw that the Mimikyu is holding the Lumberry uh, to prevent any burns or uh, you know any any status at all, because Mimikyu really doesn't appreciate any status. So he's leading with Zerkatree. That's not good for me. That's really not good for me. Uh, so I'm going to switch out here. I'm going to have to hard switch out into Blue. I think. Um, yep, so we have Luftwaffe, the Skarmory. We're gonna hard switch out into... I've not nicknamed... I've not nicknamed my Bulu yet. But that is the only switch in here, and... He's probably gonna go for a Tail Glow. Which is terrifying. We get the Grassy Surge up. Uh, and we're going to resist. This thing's probably got HP Ice. Volt Switch. Huh, okay. Um, that's fine by me. That's fine. Uh, we didn't see any life orb damage. That's something. That's something to keep track of. That is not life orb. A Galissapod. So he's definitely gonna go first impression here, um, which is neutral. And if he's banded, that's gonna hurt. Is there anything that Skarmory eats that up? And there's not much he can do to Skarmory back. So I'm going to switch back into Skarmory, I think. Yeah, I, I definitely am just going to switch back into Skarmory. Unless... I can put up a Swords Dance here. Um, and be pretty free, because he has Aqua Jet, but I'm going to get back some health. So I think, even if he... Well, if he's banded, if he's banded, he won't go for First Impression anyway. I don't think he would do that. Um, so I am, I am going to get off... A swords dance. That's probably. I know. I, okay, so we use first impression, so he's not banded. Uh, so I'm gonna set up a swords dance. Um, so even from this range, a an aqua jet will not knock me out. So I feel pretty safe going for a horn leech here. Seeing what he does. Ooh, Bulu, 
This is why I love Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is an absolute monster. We are Life Orb. We are Life Orb towards Tapu Bulu, but the Grassy Terrain and Horny to really help offset any damage that we take from the Life Orb. Um, so now he's going to try to come in and shut this thing down as quick as possible. Uh, I don't know if he'll be able to, honestly. Um, he's probably go going to go out and do Incineroar. Decidueye. What do I have for that? Not the best move. Not the best move on his part. Um, we do have the Mega Horn. What can he do back to me? I don't... I don't know. Is Steel Wing? That's all I got. Um, but I'm gonna Mega Horn. I'm gonna Mega Horn, and he's... Wow. I am a fool. I am a fool for staying in right there. But this is not like this to is that strong. Um... So he takes a lot of recoil. Okay. Alright. Well. Bulu did his job, sort of. He made it so we keep Skarmory. And he got rid of that Galissapod, which I was pretty worried about. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with letting him go down here. Because we do still have two more potential boosting sweepers. So I'm not that worried about it. Because Mimikyu is also a sword to dance. And um, Minior obviously is Shell Smash. So I'm not all that worried about it. So the Grassy Train disappeared from the battlefield, which is good, because I don't want my opponent gaining more health. So for you, my friend, am I still going to try to set up he can't touch me. I'm going for... I'm going to set up some spikes. That's what I'm going to do. We're going, we're going for some spikes. Because he's going to use U-turn and go out into the... Um, what is the name? I'll see you in a minute. Um, circuitry. Circuitry. Yep. And then he's probably going to Volt Switch back out again. Um, and him switching like that does nothing but help me because I'm setting up spikes. Um, I If I get back up to full health from this Leftovers, I will stay in. Okay, because I'm sturdy. He's going to knock me down to one health. And I'm fine with that if I get two, two layers of spikes up. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. See, I don't like running, I don't like running Volt Switch on Zerkatry because it really contradicts, it really, really contradicts his ability. Um, because, like, if you're on a roll, I mean, unless he runs Thunderbolt too, but that's just bad coverage. So we have two layers of spikes up. This thing is going to Shadow Sneak me and take me out. Um, so I'm going to try... Steel wing, in case he was trying to set. Okay, I'm gonna say if you if he was gonna try to set up on me, I was gonna steel wing. Uh, so, but he 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 just took me out. So that's fine. That's fine. So for a Mimikyu, what do I have? I have my own Mimikyu. I. Uh, I have Alakazam, which does no Shadow Ball, but one Shadow Sneak will take me out. Probably. Um, so I'm going to go to Bubble Buddy, the Assault Vest or Rock Need, even though I know the Assault Vest doesn't help me out much here. I'm going to Lunge. I have Lunge on this thing, so I'm going to use a Lunge and lower his attack, even though I know it's quad resisted. So I'm going to Lunge and lower his attack, so that that boost does not hurt me as much. So now here's where the pain really comes in. We are going liquidation and going to rip this thing apart. Go CMZ. Okay, that's pretty standard. At plus one, that's probably going to take me out. Um, 
Yeah, plus one is probably going to take me out. And I'm lucky that he doesn't have the Z crystal on either of the two starters because that would make this video get claimed. Oh, we live. We are living on three. Bubble Body, come through. Liquidation might take him out. Bubble Body. Man, Araquanid. I. My last Wi Fi battle. Um, my last Wi Fi battle was literally titled. Last one that I filmed. Or no. Or no the last one that I put up. I was literally called Araquanid Too Strong. Um, and that's, that's so true, still. So he's probably. He's going to try to get off a move to take me out outright um, to get the beast boost, which I'm not going to let happen. Um, so I'm going to switch into... I'm going to switch into Mimikyu, because he can't really touch me, um, obviously, at first, because of the disguise. Okay, so that, that was a misplay on my part. That was a, that was a misplay on my part. I, I anticipated him staying in and going for the beast boost and trying to sweep me. I don't know what he's going to do now. Um, my guess would be Incineroar. Guzma. Incineroar. Okay. Because... Um, well, I mean, I'm neutral. Dark is neutral to me. And I think I can live one of whatever he's going to throw at me. So I'm going to Sword Stance. Um, and now I know that I outspeed, so that's nice. I can't imagine he's going to one-shot me with pretty much anything. Yeah. So now Play Rough is coming out, even though I know Play Rough can miss. But we land it, and that's going to KO. Why would he nickname that Guzma? Like, I, I would understand if the... What is it called? If the thing... That bug type... That Golisopod. There it is. If the Golisopod was named... Guzma, that makes sense. But for that to be named, nicknamed Guzma, I don't know. We're gonna Shadow Sneak. Plus two. Okay, so that that's gonna take me out. He's gonna get the beast boost. Um, I... Don't have any priority left. So that's a little scary. That's a little scary for me. Um, so my only choice... I am going to out... Unless it's Scarf. But that's still my best bet. I go on to Alakazam. Go Mega. And hope that I still outspeed with Scarf. Which I know I'm not going to. Um, but my best bet is when I Mega Evolve, I trace his, uh, I trace his Beast Boost, which I saw, uh, in my last 6v6, I brought Mega Zam uh, out against a, uh, some, some Ultra Beast, uh, and proceeded to sweep because of Beast Boost. Um, so, he's not Scarf, interesting. So he's going down. I'm gonna get a plus one, and now I'm gonna sweep. That's why, that's why I love Mega Alakazam. Like I've always liked Mega Alakazam, but in this gen, because Ultra Beasts are so prevalent, you can, you're almost guaranteed to be able to get a Beast Boost. Um, and now I can sweep. I, off the top of my head, I want to say I know I even had the situation my starter. But I don't think that it gets Shadow Sneak. Um, but I know Shadow Ball. I'm going to outspeed, so yeah. Uh, there's nothing you can do at this point. Yeah. So, I don't know how experienced this guy was at really, at like, high-level competitive battling. Momo. Oh, that's right. He had, uh, he had one of you... I have Dazzling Gleam, so that's not a problem. And I'm plus two. So, GG. This did not take as long. This did not take as long as I thought it would. So. GG.
Was that a 4 0? 3 0. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so, I'm going to pause, see if I can pick up another battle to put in this one, uh, and then I will be back. Alright, so now we are going up against Sunny. Um, I have battled him before. I met him also through this app. It is the Pokemon Sun, Sun and Moon uh, Amino app. Which, uh, I didn't really even know it was Aminos were still a thing. Um, turns out they are, and I, I kind of like it on here. It's a good way to promote the channel. Uh, it's a good way to find, um, pretty good, pretty good competitive battlers, honestly. Um, I fought Sonny once before. He actually beat me. Um, and he was packing a, uh, yeah, he was packing a, a Magnezone. Sorry, I couldn't even think of it. A magazine um, just for things like my Skarmory. So in between battles, I went and swapped out because I knew I was going to be battling him. I went and swapped out um, some stuff. So instead of my Skarmory for spikes, I instead brought along my um, Lycanroc. I, I brought along my Lycanroc for uh, Stealth Rock. So, changed the squad up a little bit. Um, for s still some physical bulk, I brought uh, my Tox Specs Physically Defensive. Team comp here isn't great, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm just trying some stuff out, trying out individual mons. Um, so, Tox Specs is Black Sludge, and um, Lycan Rock is Sash, Focus Sash. Let's change the music for this one. We're going to go with... Team Skull, because I, I, I can't get enough of that Team Skull. So, we are going with... Okay, so we still he brought along that Magnus home once again. I think it's pretty much the same team he had last time. Uh, the Beware is a little scary, but we do still have Love Me, uh, our Mimikyu, for that. We have Megazam, clearly for that. If I could trace Fluffy, that would actually be really good for me. Um, so he is going to lead the Magnezone, I believe. So I want to lead... Rox doesn't really bother him too much other than the Marowak. Oh, the Mar and the Araquanid. So I am going to lead Lycanroc. Um, and then the rest doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm not running any Ultra Beasts on this on this uh, team, which is kind of weird for me. I love running Zerka Tree. Um, the, the three that I have that I mainly run are Zerka Tree, Carta Kartana, and Buzzwool. Um, oh, he just messaged me. He said he hasn't battled in a couple days, and he already told me good game. But, but you know, you never know what's going to happen. Um, I really wish, I wish so bad that Lycanroc could learn Earthquake. I don't know why they didn't give it Earthquake. It's not like it'd be, like, broken or anything like that. Um, so, Lycanroc's move pool is awful. It is god-awful. It's one of the worst I've ever seen for a Pokemon that could be competitively pretty decent. Um, so mine runs Stone Edge, uh, Stealth Rocks, Excel Rock and uh, Crunch for coverage. So, five Rock-type moves, and one coverage move is terrible. That is terrible, terrible move pool. I'll have to look a little deeper, look into egg moves. I didn't put any egg moves on him. I'm going to send out Kartana. Uh, that was definitely smart play, definitely smart play. I don't... Does Kartana get Rapid Spin? Um, I don't want this thing getting Beast Boost and then getting on a roll. Um, so who do I have that can, hmm, let's take a look at the squad. Anything special destroys this thing. So, Alakazam and Starchild Minior are looking pretty good here. Not as switch-ins, I'm probably going to let Lycanroc go down. Um, so I'm going to use, uh, Crunch. Actually, yeah, I might as well. I'm going to go for Crunch because I know I'm going to outspeed. Scarf. Never mind. 
Scarf, Cart Scarf Cartana. Okay. Uh, so I should have went for Excel Rock. That's, that's my bad. That's a misplay. Okay, so we know that thing is Scarf. Um, it's now at plus one, which is pretty terrifying, if I do say so myself. But he's locked into the Leaf Blade, which I can take advantage of uh, with Bulu. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to switch into Bulu. He can't touch me uh, with that Leaf Blade, even at plus one. So he's going to switch out, even though Grassy Terrain does increase the grass type moves, uh, but even still, he's not going to, I don't think he's going to risk it. It's not Scarf? Are you kidding me? Wow, um, wow, I really don't know what to do at this point. I know it doesn't get any priority, so I have to go into Alakazam to scare him out. Um, so I'm gonna Mega. And I, this is really early to be going out into my wind to my wind con. So he's wondering right now what I'm gonna do to him. He's wondering right now what move I'm gonna use on him because his Kartana special defense is so awful. Okay, good. So that beast boost goes away, um, and. I can't trace Disguise, that's not a thing. Um, I have seen Band, I have seen Banded Mimikyu. Um, I don't believe a non-Banded one would take me out, but I'm not going to risk it because I already lost one Sweeper. I'm not going to lose Alakazam too. So we are going to return Alakazam for, we're going to go out into Dox Effects. Because even if this thing is packing the Ghostinium Z, uh, we'll eat that up. Just like that, we, we destroy this thing right now. Um, so he is going to, yeah. We're both going to get some health back from the terrain. I also have Black Sludge, clearly. Um, so let's... What do I want to do here? He's going to try to set up, so I'm going to Toxic. Oh, he's going to withdraw back out into the Kartana. Smart. It's very, very smart. But, you know, him keeping... Him switching... That's fine. I, I don't mind that at all because I have the Stealth Rocks. And that's going to catch up with him once this terrain goes away. Uh, so I'm going to Baneful Bunker just to scout and see what he's going to do to me. Um, he might Swords Dance though, and that's a problem. That's a definite problem. Psycho Cut. Okay. Pretty typical. Um, so I just really need this terrain to go away. Perfect. Okay, so now his grass type moves do a lot less. He's going for Cycle Cut. I don't have a good answer for that. I'm not letting Alakazam go down. I can't have that happen. I also can't have Corsakill die. So, okay, what does his team look like? He's still got six. Keep that, keep that in mind. He still has all of his mons. While I am down to three, probably sacrificing a fourth. Um, yeah, Star Child doesn't do that much for us. And I feel bad 
wasting our Z-Mover. But I don't have much of a choice. Who's gonna use Psycho Cut again? Leaf Blade. Protecting the switch. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. And, oh, and he gets the crit. Great. Um, so, the best thing he can do, or the best thing I can do now is switch out into Alakazam and trace the beast boost. That is what I, that's, that's my, that is my win con right now. I, I played the beginning of this battle very, very poorly. Um, and th now I'm paying for it. So he's going to return him. Probably go out. He can't go out to the Mimikyu again. Because I'm Shadow Balling. Or Rockwinded. Smart play. That's a very smart play. Um, but after the Stealth Rock damage and the Shadow Ball, a Psychic. We get the Special D drop. So now it gets down to a thinking game. The mind games are really starting here. Um, this battle's taking a lot longer than the last one. Um, will a Psychic do it? The psychic is stab, and he's got the special defense drop. You know, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm really hoping. He lives on one. That's going to take me out. You know, it's really funny, actually. Last time last time I played Sunny, uh, my Alakazam swept his team because uh, a Thunderbolt from that Magnazone got a low roll, and uh, I already had Beast Boost and was already at plus one. Uh, so I, I think it's funny how this time I got the low roll. So... That's fun. So, good game. This game's over. There's, there's nothing I can do now. I'm, I'm messaging him right now, actually. So. I'm going to Swords Dance. That's the best thing I can do. He's, he's going to lunge. Get my attack down. Man. He literally, he told me he lived on 1 HP. Liquidation. Okay, so he's uh, going going straight for it. Maybe he doesn't know lunge. Um, so I'm Swords Dance, and I outsped. So that's, that's pretty nice. There's absolutely no way I win, no way I win this. Um, now do I get greedy and go for another one? I feel like that's my only win con. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. I think the liquidation will kill me. Poison jab. It's neutral. It's non stab. It's fine. It's now I'm plus two. And I know I outspeed. Uh, I'm going for the Shadow Claw. Just cuz. Uh, I don't want Player Off to miss. I messaged him back. I I said I'm triggered. Um, I just I played this match so poorly. I still I have no idea how in the world my Lycan Rock got outsped by a non-scarf Carcana. Um, okay, this thing's got fluffy, I'm sure, but I'm plus four, so play rough is going to hurt a lot. So we got a we got we have a potential sweep right here. We really have a potential sweep sweep because I don't believe anything on his team had priority. Um, Magnazone, I believe we're gonna outspeed because we are jolly. We have a jolly mimic you who just wants some love. He just wants you to love him, love me. Uh, we're gonna shadow claw here. He outspeeds. That's gonna take me out. And then who do I have left? Uh, 
I have... Okay. Yeah, I have nothing for, for this Magnezone. Because I don't even run a Water-type move. I run Toxic, Baneful Bunker, Venom Shock, and Recover. So, uh, there's no way I'm winning this game. I normally don't like... I don't like forfeiting. But there's nothing I can do. So, I thought I pushed yes. It defaults to no, so... Good game. Good game, Sonny. Alright, well... That was fun. That was boatloads of fun. <sighs> Alright, well, like I said at the beginning of that one, team comp wasn't great. I didn't have a lot of time to think about uh, what weaknesses I had. Clearly, I need an electric-type answer. I almost have one. I have a fully trained, fully IV'd, fully EV... Uh, almost fully EV'd, uh, or IV'd. It's got full... HP, attack, defense, special defense, which is all it needs. Um, but Mudsdale, I got it all EV trained. I was just in the process of leveling it up. And then I looked and noticed that I had own tempo instead of stamina. So, and it was such a, it was a perfect nature too. It was an, uh, an adamant nature. So I'm probably just going to spend some time grinding in the battle tree to get an, uh, an ability capsule. That's probably what's going to happen. Um... Oh, well, if you enjoyed these videos uh, as much as I did, I know between the two of them they went a little long, and that last one was such a horrible display of Pokemon by myself. But if you enjoyed these as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Uh, and until next time, see you later.